We're here today in Park Ridge, New Jersey. We're gonna be installing a partial French drain. The homeowners are only getting water along the front wall and a little bit on the right-hand side. We're gonna install the French drain a little bit down the right-hand wall and go from corner to corner on the front wall. This basement has all the signs of water seepage. You have some paint flaking off the wall due to the moisture within the block, discoloration uh, on the wall and on the floor. You have water staining on the floor. You have efflorescence coming through, and that's a fingerprint of water. The primary function of a French drain is to relieve the hydrostatic pressure coming up from the water table. We dig a trench where the water seeps in. Typically, that is where the floor meets the wall. So after jackhammering our trench roughly a foot wide, uh, you can see here's the footing. We have to come out that much further and create a trench for our pipe and gravel. Because this wall looks like it possibly is holding water within the cavities of the cinder block, we drilled weep holes within the foundation to empty out the cavities in the cinder block to drain it so that the water would drain from the cavities into the French drain. Now that we have the trench dug, we line the trench with this filter fabric to help prevent debris infiltrating the pipe and the gravel. The trench and the pipe are pitched down to the sump pump. The pipe is perforated with half inch holes to allow water to flow down to the sump. Now that the PVC pipe is pitched and leading into the sump pit, we buried the pipe with three quarter inch gravel and we're gonna cover the gravel with our filter fabric and start to re-cement the floor back. Here we have our sump pump. You can see that it's plugged in and the sump pump is triggered on by the float. When the water level rises inside the pit, it raises the float, triggers the pump on, and the pump expels the water through the discharge line. Here's the discharge line from the sump pump coming up the wall right at grade level and going through the foundation wall. So here's the discharge pipe from the pump coming out through the house. The homeowner has an underground pipe leading out to a catch basin, and this discharge pipe is tapping right into that. So here we finished off the job by re-cementing back the concrete floor over the French drain, nice and smooth, but we leave a one inch opening. That's there just in case if water were to trickle down the wall and come through the wall, give any point in time, give any reason, it will come down through that space and get into our French drain, where if we cemented it back, it would just bleed right onto your floor again. In instances where we have to have a sealed system due to radon, what we do is we do not leave the one inch gap. We anchor some flashing to the wall and we cement back and no gap is left so that everything is airtight.